Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, mathematics for grade 6. Today, we'll be looking at numbers. And in our numbers today, we'll work with whole numbers. And today, in the whole numbers, we'll be looking at the place value of digits up to 100 thousands. Place value of digits up to 100 thousands. And before we do this, while you are in grade 5, while you are in grade 5, you learned the place value of digits. You learned the place value of digits. But before now, we look at the place value of digits up to hundreds of thousands, I welcome you to grade 6. And today, I would like us now, we focus on the following objects. Just a recap of what you learned while you are in grade 5. And in grade 5, you looked, observed at this object or instrument. What name did you give to this instrument? This instrument is called an abacus. An abacus is an instrument used to identify place value of digits in a number. Again, while you're in grade 5 also, you looked at this object. And I'm calling it an object because I've drawn it, you will be using it. And in our chart or in our manila paper, this object or this drawing, we called it place value pockets. And what is the use of place value pockets? Place value pockets are used to identify unique positions of digits in a number. Are used to identify unique positions of digits in a number. For more on this, welcome to our today's lesson. And to start, I will start by defining what is place value. Place value is now what is defined by this place value pocket or the habakas. What is the work of the place value pockets or habakas? It is now to do or to define place value. And place value is the position a digit occupies in a number. Position a digit occupies in a number. We call it place value. Place value is the position. Place value is the position a digit occupies in a number. A digit occupies in a number. Occupies in a number. This is what we call place value. And now, for example, for example, in our pairs, I would like to ask Jen, which year were you born? Jen is giving me an answer as 2013. So 2013 comprises of different digits. 2013 comprises of the four digits. So what is the place value or the position digit 3, digit 1, 0 and 2 occupies in this number? When we will be looking at the position it occupies, now we will be digging deeper to place value. And now for more on this, join me in your groups. And as you join your groups, learners, may you pick the manila paper with you. I have a manila paper. Also, we have a pair of scissors. Make sure you have them in your groups. And as you work with them, this is the manila paper and this is our scissors. As you undo the scissors, remember to undo the scissors with a lot of care. Remember, we are working as a team. Team displays teamwork. We have to communicate as we work together. So make sure you communicate with your team members. You unite. Let us work as one team. And now my question is, how do you identify the place value of a digit in a number? Now that we know what is a place value, how do you identify place value of a digit in a number? Now, as we have the pair of scissors and the manila paper, remember in grade five, you learned a five digit number. And this five digit number, today we want to go a bit further to six digit numbers. We want to go a bit further to a six digit number. Now using a pair of scissors, 
I would like now we cut using the pair of scissors, write the following digits, write the following digits on that piece of paper or the manila you have. We have six, we have also seven, we have another digit as three, we have nine, two, and eight. These are the digits that I would like you to write them on your manila paper. Then using your pair of scissors, can you cut each digit independently? Each digit independently. And when you cut, you will have six, seven. These are the digits that we have. Six, seven, three, nine, two, and five. These are our digits that we have. Remember, I've said using your manila paper in your groups, write this big number here. It is a six digit number. Then this six digit number, cut each digit independently. Now, using the knowledge that we had in grade five of a place value of digits up to five digit numbers. Now, I would like us now we position in the place value pockets. Remember these as pockets, we want to position each digit where it belongs. Now, remember when we were working with place value, remember you are facing this side, we start with our right hand towards the left. Start with the right hand towards the left. When I turn facing you, my this is my right hand. So do not start at this point, but start here. From this side, we have the last digit. This was a digit five, not eight. Sorry, this was digit five, not eight. That was digit five that I have here, not eight. I have cut the wrong one. I have written the wrong one, but cut the correct one. Now, starting from the far end, we have digit five. And from our right hand, digit five is in the place value of one. So I would like this digit, you put it or you place it in the place value pocket where it belongs. So in this pocket, we'll have now to put our digit five. In that pocket, we have that digit five in the place value of ones. Then after that, the next digit is digit two. Remember, we are group working. After you do that, give your partner also. The next digit is digit number two. Put it in the place value of tens. Make sure you put it correctly in that pocket to have something of the sort. The next digit, remember, it's a group teamwork. Give your partner to do the same. Everybody to experience. Now put the nine, digit nine, in the place value of hundreds. Remember, we have started with ones, tens, now we are at hundreds. The next one is digit number three. Digit number three, we put it in the place value of thousands. So this is where we'll put our digits. Remember, we have said it is teamwork, do not work. Alone. The next digit is digit number seven. The next one is ten thousands. So we put digit seven in the pocket of tens of thousand. And finally, our remaining digit is digit number six in the next place value of hundred thousands. So this is where we put the last digit. And now the position of digit five is once. Of digit two is tens, of digit nine is hundreds, of digit three is thousands, of digit seven is ten thousands, and digit six is hundred thousands. So in other words, when you find or you come across a six digit number, remember it is going up to hundred thousands. So now if we come to the place value chart, I will want to position each digit to where it is supposed to be. So we, I will just write them vertically. We have six, seven, three, nine, two, and five. Those are our digits and we want to position them to where they are supposed to be. So six, we have put it as a hundred thousands, a hundred thousands. thousands. We have digits. The next digit is seven as ten thousands. 
The next digit is digit three as thousands. The next one is nine hundreds. The next one is two, which is tens. And finally, the first digit that we put there is five, which is ones. So that those are the position. So if you are asked the place value of digit two, digit two is in the place value of tens. Digit seven is in the place value of ten thousands or tens of thousands. Digit nine is in the place value of a hundred and so on. Lanas, that is how we identify a hundred thousands. Start from what you know up to where we reached the last time was 10,000. Then now move one step further, which is a hundred thousands, which is a hundred thousands. Now with that, I would also like now we position also the same digits using the abacus. If you were to put the first digit, we are counting from above here. I was to put it like this, but for the beads to move, I have to put it this side now. So we have once all the way, once, tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands. So in the place value of once, we have five. So I will remain with five beads. One, two, three, four, five. So I remove these others. In the place value of tens, we have two. So I remove this, I remain with two. In the place value of hundreds, I have nine. So I remove only one to remain with nine. In the place value of ten thousands, oh not sorry, in the place value of thousands, we have three thousands. So I remain with only three. In the place value of ten thousands, we have seven. So I put off three to remain with seven and finally in hundred thousands we have six so i take away four and that is how we represent our big number with six digits using the abacus we have five ones two tens nine hundreds three thousands six tens of thousand and seven tens of thousand and six hundred of thousands that is how we place them still you can use the place value chart and position each digit accordingly now in our groups learners i would like now we use the place value pocket and position the following digits let us now pick three seven just write them on your manila paper and cut them nine zero six and four six and four these are the digits that i would like us we position them on our place value pockets we position them on our place value pockets so can you write these digits in your manila paper using the pair of scissors cut them each digit independently then after that position them correctly Position them correctly where they belong. Position them correctly where they are supposed to be positioned. Those are our digits that we have. Those are our digits. So we have six and zero. Those are the digits that we have. We have zero here. We have zero and four. I had cut them earlier. So let me use what I have. So we have three, seven. So we have three, seven, nine, zero, six, four. Zero, six, and four. Now, in turns, you can put or position each digit that you have cut on the place value chart or on the place value pocket. Just put each digit where it's supposed to be. So to start with, you don't start with the three, but you start from the right hand side. So our right hand side is this side. So we start with four. Four lies in the place value of ones. So we put it in the ones pocket. The next digit is six. Six lies in the place value of tens. So we put it in the tens pocket. The next one is zero. Zero 
is in the position of hundreds. So we put it in the pocket of hundreds. The next digit is nine. Nine is our next digit. We put it in the next place value pocket, which is thousands, followed by seven. Seven, we put it in the next pocket of tens of thousands. And finally, our final digit is digit number three. We put it in the place value of a hundred of thousands. And now we are positioned each digit to where it's supposed to be. Now, learners, my question is, what is the place value of digit three as we are put it in the place value pocket? And the position of digit three is a hundred thousands. Position of digit three is hundred thousands. If you are also asked the place value of digit zero in that number is ones, tens, hundred. So we pick zero to have the place value of hundreds and so on. With this learners, I'd like us we wind up our lesson with a task. Kindly position the following on the place value chart. Or what is the place value position? What is the place value of the following digits? What is the place value of the following digits in the numbers? What is the place value of the following? What is the place value of what is the place value of digit five? Digit five in the following numbers. Number one, digit five, we have three, two, five, one, seven, and seven. The other number, we have four, five, zero, four, two, zero. And finally, our final task, five, six, two, three, eight, one. What is the place value of digit five in these numbers? Digit five is easily identifiable. This is our digit five in the first one, digit five in the second one, digit five in the third one. What is their place value of each digit in every sum? With these runners, remember to do more practice on position of digits. You can ask your parents or your guardians to come up with any six digit number of their choice. You can pick from zero to nine, jumble the numbers, come up, ju jumble the digits, rearrange them, come up with as many numbers with six digits as possible, then try and look for their position in the place value. See you in the next lesson.